Hey, it's me, Sylvia. Welcome back to my channel. It being Wednesday, thought we do a VIP Wednesday. Work in progress Wednesday. Um, it's all about, let me get this right, Defemeremba. Um, a collaboration from 49 Dragonflies Barbara and uh, Louisa Hensel. They do this every year apart, apparently, and for me this is the first year, obviously, because I've only just got into journals. So I wanted to do a quick show of what I've got so far. We're on day seven, and it has not been that easy for me because I don't have a huge amount of supplies. I've only just sent off to get some circular punches, <laughs> everything I've always been hand-cutting. But uh, for what I want to make next, I can't, excuse me, let me just move a minute. I can't uh, hand cut that nicely. So uh, oh, this, this, this washi tape must be the worst washi tape ever. Anyway, so here we are. Here is the cover I made for De Femeremba. I will get it right. There will be a little... A name tag appearing on here at some point but I'm just not quite ready because I don't know exactly how far into the journal I'm going to get. Uh, here's a tip for you if you are doing journal if you're new to journal try and plan your journals and don't do just what I do um, bung in the, the signatures and then decide once you start that you want to do something completely different, which is what I have done and which you will see in a minute. So, let's start here. I've put this. This is just a post-it note because I am not uh, uh, using all the elements that uh, uh, Barbara and Louisa are using because I don't have them. I don't have a penguin. I don't have turtles. I don't have elephants. I could print out they offer free uh, uh, printables but the problem with that is um, how do you explain to your other half that all of a sudden you use the printer ink within four weeks opposed to several months so I am being selective shall we say as to what I print out so anyway here we go so these, this, this note is simply that if I come across something, I will add it to the page because I have decided I am going to make a proper page for each of the um, elements, each of the uh, defemeremba prompts. So we're on page six already. Um, talk about this. This was then page one and I've made a little note for it. I've been writing note for everything just so I can look back on it because I'm learning so much more than what I used to when I did paper crafting, when I first started doing paper crafting. None of this. There wasn't anything. Um, I mean, there were papers and things like this, obviously, yes, but they weren't on my radar. I mean, I would have never thought of sewing plastic um, and, and, and making a little jar or something like that. It was simply not on my radar back in the day. So, and then we have the cards, the playing cards. Here is the, what I mean when I say when I find things, I come across them, I will add them to the page that the relevant uh, uh, ephemera is on. So for that particular day, for day two, they pulled out... Um, Giraffes. I didn't have anything giraffe like giraffe anything. But then the following Sunday, in the, uh, one of the magazines for the newspapers, there were these giraffes. And I thought, this is fabulous. So I put the joke, I had this on there already, the, all the, the, the cards and the sticker was all put on there, the sentiment. But, you know, joker in the pack, it fit perfectly with that one. So that's what I did. You can see a close up. Do a quick close-up to it. You can see this one is sticking its tongue out. So, you know, joker in the pack. Oh, where is it gone? I can't see it. There it is. 
there. So yeah, so I'm quite happy with how that's turning out. So uh, some more. I also learned about uh, journaling cards, which is something I'd never done before, and to pay attention when you put things in. This is great, isn't it? But if you turn it round, you'll find it's the wrong way round. Ha ha. Not to worry. Not to worry at all. So that's day three. And this was another one where I was uh, quite, uh, got quite stressed out because I didn't know what I was going to do. So I just scanned a photocopy uh, of one of my daughter's A-level art works that she'd done. And that worked out quite. But you see what I mean? I've been writing on the opposing page, which was not a plan I had at all. I wasn't going to do that in, in any shape, way or form. I was just going to put it all in and make it look all pretty. But then I decided, well, hang on a minute. If I write it and I can look back on it, at least I know what I, you know, what I thought of it and things like that. Learn to spell is one of them. Because I don't, I very rarely write these days, handwrite anything. Um, I just write very fast. I could be a doctor with handwriting like that. Some more here. And this is, this is another thing that I had no idea how to do. Um, tickets. I never used to have tickets like this. But look, this is day five. One, two, three, four, five. And I found a little bee brooch I had. Um, which isn't very fantastic, but it is so pretty and we need the bees. So I put it just here earlier on. And then this one, another feather. I don't have any feathers um, unless it, it's, you know, down feathers in my gilet or something. So I made paper feathers. Why not? And then I had this just the other week. I bought a, a Christmas magazine and they had these pack of, of wooden uh, uh, angel wings on there so I bit of embossing powder and that turned out really nice and the bingo card I had to download that um, I had to print that because I didn't and, uh, uh, but what I did I printed several so I can always use them again so as not to waste the paper that one um, I downloaded it because I was looking for bingo cards. I could have got them anywhere, obviously. But the one I was looking at was a particular type. And this one matched what I had in my, in my head, which um, I downloaded from www.raggedybits.com. So uh, that's one thing. I will put it in the... Um, info box I will put the link in the info box for that so and this is prompt seven which is today's prompt um, and yes I am having problems uh, again I mean the, the prompt says handwritten memory and loaded tag first of all I had no idea what a loaded tag was so several videos later I finally learned what a loaded tag is then I've been collecting as just an empty piece of card, which I'm planning maybe on using. Now, the handwritten memory is a card, a postcard, which is really a relevance from, for me and my daughter. And she sent me this uh, from the Lake District, would you believe? <laughs> yes, I know. Um, so this is what I want to use without using it. So that will be the tuck in. I also would like to use, not, not these buttons. They, my, my daughter makes them. My daughter is a, a jeweler. So she makes them amongst other things. She does acrylic jewelry. And uh, I want, um, want to use the, the cards that they're on and the bag that comes, it comes in. So it's all a bit trying to think about what I want to be doing with that. So yes, it's quite a lot of pages. And again, many of these pages, if you look at them, are, you know, reusable papers. They're like, yes, there is some new purpose. I'm not saying there isn't, but you don't need to have a brand spanker. There is the, uh, from the magazine with the hatched, with the angel wings. So yeah, so that's 
one thing that's a work in progress then we have the oh let me just move this out the way then we have these two journal covers and this is why I, in the end i caved in and ordered myself some uh, uh, hole punches because this one i cut a hand cut oh what a nightmare that is turning out but never mind so it, this is just holding it close at the moment these two journals are for uh junk journal january with uh, which is uh, hosted by meg journals i would like to take part so i'm hoping that this is enough and i've realized i put this in the wrong way around but it doesn't matter it's going to get covered anyway so yes so i've done this oh goodness me i'll have to take them out and fix them but anyway yes so i've put them in the wrong way around the journal is the right way but the the signature is the wrong way i am hoping that i've got enough pages in here but since i've got to take it out i'll probably maybe i don't have to take it out oh i don't know the brain is not functioning very well these last couple of days but anyway so i've made this uh i did it the uh, joy de fee way lots of uh, bits and pieces i already have sewing together and i tend to um, on the joints i do a double-sided sticky tape on the inside to cover and cover them up just to strengthen because you know you're open you're bending you're doing you're doing and toing and froing and especially when you stitch and use that as your um, joint it it can get a bit broken it breaks a bit so i strengthen it by putting double-sided tape on the joint on the inside and cover it up so it's fine nobody's gonna see that but i want the closure to do the um, figure eight washer one and of course i can't make it because i don't have a hole punch so i have in the end caved in and ordered myself some different sizes this one is made in the same vein which will have rounded corner but what i want to try is i want to try um, i mean i am a maximalist in all ways i i even my house is maximalist stuffed for colorful with this with that and the other and shelves and walls i can't stand an empty wall but i would like to try and do a minimalist journey possibly for jun junk journal january so i'll put some white paper in um and, you know and maybe just use two or three things i i love the look of that i love the look when, when i see people on instagram and everything i love the way their pages look with like you know just a sort of three stickers and it looks just perfectly coherent so this is my maybe try so i've got two basically one i can fall back on and this one that I want to try and use as a minimalist one. I don't know if I can do it. I'm certainly going to give it a try. Let's put it that way. And I have for that particular um, uh, challenge, I come across, I went to charity shop hall. See the books here? I mean, all these I got from the charity shops. That's fabulous. I couldn't now i look to some of them i don't actually want to use them but i am going to i'm sure this one that's really good this it comes with the months look at that and for me as a gardener this is quite fantastic really so maybe i use the lettering or the notes maybe i don't i don't know but um i've got it and that's the main thing um because I seem to have a theme of flowers and butterflies and the great outdoors. I love stuff like that. Then I got these two also. Um, the Golden Age of Air Travel. I mean, look at that. British Airways. Oh, look. 
Let me put it on close so that you can see a bit more. Look at that. All these things. Oh, maybe various old adverts. So really good things in there. So that's one of them. I think it's look really, I think it's fabulous. Absolutely. And then, of course, the Victorian Edwardian at play, which was what? A pound. I mean, these two were a pound. I think it depends on which charity shop you go to these days. I think the they're trying very hard to um, get into the vintage and things like that. But I found it so difficult. Books you can find in, in many of them, loads of variety. But some of the things that I was looking for, um, it's, just, it's just, no, you can't find it anymore. But look at these. How amazing are these things? Yes. Really, really good. Playing cards. Cycling. Promenading. So I'm sure I'll be able to use some of these. Some of the... And then, I haven't really looked at this one yet, and this is one of the more expensive ones. I don't really know why. Well, that was uh, five, nearly five pound. But I mean, I fell in love with this. This is just, I mean, how nice is that? It's, um, what is it called? Oh yes, the Illustrated Encyclopedia. I mean, some of the things in here are just totally amazing. And the pictures. So, yes, I'm sure I will use some and others maybe not. I don't know. I mean, the, the some of it might, might be able to use as, you know, do photocopies rather than cutting up the actual pages. But it's so, I mean, it's wonderful. It's actually a shame to cut it up. But... Such as Jodi Fee has a lot to answer for, is all I can say. I found a nice bird book. I had a little, um, let me move the others out of the way because I'm getting a bit of a pile here. I had a, um, a little magazine from my, my partner's mother, um, and I didn't, I was really reluctant to cut the birds up in it because it's, you know, she had it for a very long time. They used it, it was just a little leaflet more than a book or anything. And then when I came across this one, yep, I thought to myself, ah, that'll be mine. So I got that. And then, Memoirs of a Marriage, or Portrait of a Marriage. I've already used that, as you can see. Uh, I've used it for the um, tickets. So, Nigel Nicholson. And there is some lovely pictures in there as well. So, and since I don't sell my journals or any uh, ephemera or anything, I don't have to um, worry too much about copyright. So that's, that's well, okay then in that case. It is only if I start selling things like this, that's when the copyright issues start coming along. And I found an atlas. Have you noticed, in the UK anyway, that when you go into uh, some of the charity shops, atlas are very hard to come by these days. Nobody seems to have them, use them, want them. Do children these days in school even know what to do with them? I've no idea. But I've tried so many, and this is not the particular one that I wanted, but this is the one, the only one there was on the shelf. So I grabbed it. We actually have a vintage one from his mom, from his parents, from his dad, who was a geography teacher. So, um, so we actually have one of them. But unless I photocopy, I no, not going to use it unless I make photocopies of it. It's it's too precious for us. And that concludes VIP Wednesday. Um, thank you for watching and. Give me a like, leave me a comment, um, give me an idea of what I can do with the, um, 
with the Minimalist Journal. And uh, have a good evening. Bye-bye.